took my Breville Barista Express espresso machine out of the box, so now let's set it up together. So gorgeous. I'm honestly very intimidated to start using it, but I'm also very excited to learn how to use it for making my espresso. It's just such a beautiful machine. So here's a look at the accessories that come with the machine. It comes with this cleaning kit, comes with the razor to trim, what does it say, trim excess grinds. And then it comes with a filter. This is a little water filter holder that you put in the back. A dosing funnel that sits on the porta filter, which comes with it. And so it sits right on top like this to make sure it stays within there when you put in the machine to get the grinds out. And then it comes with a tamper and also a milk jug. And then it also comes with these filter baskets. So single wall filters and double wall filters. Descaler to remove hard water from the machine. The first step in this little quick start guide that came with the machine is to soak the water filter in water for five minutes. So we're gonna do that first. what the water filter looks like. And just put that in the water. I also bought a ton of accessories that both look cute and should help with the functionality of the machine, but I wanna get the basic setup done first, so we'll get into some of these in a future video. Now that it's been five minutes, we're gonna rinse out the filter and the filter holder. Put it in the holder, and then put it in the water tank. It says to set the little replacement reminder to two months from now. It's January, so that'll be March. All right, finally got it on three. That feels right, okay. And we're gonna fill the water tank with water. Next step says to put the hopper on, which I had already done, and then you turn it to lock it. So that's good to go. And next it says pour some coffee beans in here, so I guess we're gonna do that. So I just bought these beans from the grocery store I know they're probably not the most highest quality or freshest beans that I could find, but I figure while I'm just starting to mess around with the machine, I would rather mess around with something I just wasn't expensive. So <laughs> that's what we're using. I love the smell of coffee. One of the accessories that I did buy for this machine is a coffee scale. We're not gonna use that right now because I just kind of want to go with what the machine says to do, but in the future I will be using this to measure out my beans and time out my extraction and all that jib jab. All right, so we're just gonna pour beans in. I don't even know, we're just gonna, it doesn't say to measure them, so I'm just following the directions. Put some beans in here. I don't know why it looks cool to me filled with beans, but it, it looks cool. Everything on the machine looks cool. I think that's probably why. Everything just looks cool. <laughs> all right, coming in for the first time. Turning it on. Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm so lame, but that was so exciting. <laughs> All right, it says to wait for the buttons to illuminate. I see these two have illuminated. I don't know if these are supposed to also. I'm assuming maybe it is, so we'll just give it a second. Now it says we're gonna press this little single cup here to flush the group head. And you see water coming out, so I guess that's flushing the group head. It also says to run the steam for 10 seconds, so here we go. Now we're gonna move on to the making espresso portion. This is so exciting! First it says to run water to preheat the, fil the filter basket, the quarter filter, and your cup. So let's do that, I guess. So this is gonna be messy. breaking out one of the accessories, quote unquote, that I bought for the machine, which are these microfiber cloths. All right, to start off, it says to set your grind sides to five. I see it's already there. And then set the grind amount to three o'clock, also already there. So we're gonna start off that way and then adjust from there. I'm going to put the dosing funnel on the porter filter and select the filter size. We want double and there we go. Alright, so we're going to take it out. So to tap it to make sure it's evenly distributed. This is to use the tamper. This is the one that came with it. I did order another one that looks cuter and should work better, but for now we're going to use the one that came with the machine. So we're going to tamp it? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. 
push down with even pressure. It's tamped down to me. Remove the dosing funnel and use the razor that came with the machine. And turn it back and forth to trim, but there's actually nothing touching it, so that did nothing. <laughs> okay. I can already tell this is gonna be a thing. Every time it gets wet, I'm like, I must wipe it. That feels like that's gonna get tedious. <laughs> the next step is to insert the portafilter somehow. I did this before, but now I'm like, apparently not remembering how to do it correctly. There we go. And then turn it. All right, so this is also the part where you have to watch the pressure here, because it should be in the espresso range here. And then it should also pour the shots and it should take 25 to 35 seconds, it says. So let's just try it and see what happens. Ooh, it is pouring into the cup, so good sign. It looks extremely fast though, so I feel like this I'm gonna have to adjust. According to the extraction guide, that's called an under extraction because it didn't have enough pressure. It was under a special range and it came out really quick and watery. So we have to adjust the grind size finer and increase the grind amount. So let's give that a try. Adjusted to more grind amount. I also adjusted the grind size. So take two. Okay, the pressure is better. It's going up into the espresso range. Still looks a little low though. All right, take three. I'm trying again. All right, we're in that perfect espresso range. It's looking good. I like what I see so far. Next step here in this process is going to be to try to frost the milk using the steam wand. I've never used a steam wand before, so I, I mean, I've never used the machine before, so I don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna, Try it out. So I wasn't sure how much milk to use either, but when I usually make my two shot lattes, I will use three fourths cup of milk. So that's what I poured in here. And I'm using 2% milk today. Search the steam wand. So we've done that. <laughs> Step one. And then turn on steam, swirl, spin the milk, turn off when the jug is hot, and then run steam to clear the wand and wipe the clean. All right, well, let's try it. It's getting a little bit hot to the touch. So I think I'm gonna call it. And it looks like froth milk, so it'll, <laughs> I guess it worked. Then it says to run to the steam to clear the wand, so we'll do that. We've got our little, it's an add to cart kind of day cup, mug. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna pour two shots of espresso. It looks really dark, I don't know. I'm being critical of my first little baby shots here. We're gonna pour the milk in. We're not even attempting any kind of latte art because I never don't know how to do that. <laughs> Let's not even pretend. I forgot to add my favorite part of any kind of latte syrup, so I'm gonna add some cheesecake syrup to this. That's one I've been loving lately. I'm gonna add four pumps with just two tablespoons, which is, again, the amount that I usually use for my lattes. I'm so nervous because I don't want it to suck. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to so many more lattes in our future together here on this channel. And I will continue to work with the machine, try different kinds of beans. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little setup for the Breville Barista Express Espresso Machine. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I also just cleaned everything off after using it for the first time. And it was super simple to kind of clean down. I took this off. I took the drip tray out. I rinsed this, washed it, all that kind of stuff. Got all the grounds out and the water and whatnot. I don't know if I'm going to do that every single time I use it, but I probably will because having stuff in there is going to bother me but i also wanted to point out this little tool storage tray that's at the back behind the drip tray so i'm going to put the little cleaning kit that came with the machine and keep all that stuff back in there so it's all together